Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm here with a cool Django project which is a learning management system and yeah it consists of a lot of cool features and yeah I just migrated the project to the latest version of Django which is currently 4.1.6 and yeah here is the demo video you can check the demo video to find out how the app actually works and yeah let's actually head over to the installation and let's set up the project yeah this is the demo video and yeah let's back to the installation and yeah we in this video we actually set up the project yeah first uh, run this project using a command prompt if you are on Mac or Linux you can open terminal and run this command all right we yeah we just cloned the project and yeah let's change directory to the project and yeah let's uh, create a python uh, virtual environment oops yeah I, I make a mistake there it should be python -m -v -n -v and the name of the virtual environment which is in my case vnb and now yeah we can open a the project on a code editor which i am going to open in the visual studio code yeah we don't need the terminal yeah we can use the terminal inside the vis code yeah i just activated the virtual environment and now we can install all the requirements inside the requirements.txt file all right this command will going to install all packages actually in the meantime we can create a dot env file yeah let's create a dot env file and this file actually used to store uh, a environment variables for our project which is in my case the db name the db user db password and actually we need a db host which is obviously local host since we are working on the development yeah let's wait for the installation of course it's finished and now we can run our project i guess yeah let's open our project uh, all right let's actually create a super user which by running python manage.py create super user let's input our username email password and password again all right done we can log in using that credential admin 5 and password testing 3 to 1 Alright, as you can see the project is running fine. Now we are on the home page, news and events page. Let's move to the dashboard. Alright, the dashboard also working fine. Yep, yeah, let's actually update the profile. Yeah, let's add avatar. Yeah, fill out this form. Yeah, let's 
me input random number and CT here it should actually update the project the profile yes it did update mm, yeah it's all working fine all right yeah here you can search using this input and yeah you can play around with it yeah, admin panel this is the lectures let's actually test if the it update the event object let me just click post yes it did update yeah all right this is a lectures list students list program and courses let me actually select one program select one course yeah this is a course material page all right let me check the quiz page yeah this is all different quizzes yeah you can play around with it let me actually log in as a student and let's see if how it looks all right yeah as you can see there is new linkers on the sidebar which is assessment result grade result and yeah this is an assessment result page and also a grade results page this is the first semester grade result actually really bad grade gpa all right now we can let's see let's log in as a lecturer all right there is a new link as well yeah we can the lecture can manage courses select courses and yeah in this page the lecturer actually submit scores for their results on attendance quizzes mid exam final exam and when it clicks save the system actually calculates all the pointers average and grade also comment yeah so yeah you can play around the project explore more and don't forget to support me by giving the project a star on github and actually like this video so yeah this is this is it guys, I will see you in the next one.